Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So Immortal is a epic historical fantasy romance and it is my best, my biggest, my most ambitious project that I've ever worked on. It is the longest book I've ever written and I've been working on it for years and it's the biggest one because it has companion books and TV series scripts I've been writing. Um, it is essentially my book baby even beyond my debut novel which was Hunter um, and so I spent a lot of time editing and working on this even before I sent it to my editor. Um, so shout out to H.A. Pruitt who helped me edit this book um, and so this is the vlog series as I edited Immortal um, so yeah it's a very long process I hope you'll stick with me through the series it was definitely really fun because I was like editing what my editor had said I was editing for myself and the story and all the developmental stuff I was historically fact checking there's one section in here where I was also checking um, my a Japanese friend of mine had beta read the Japanese section so I was watching for all that stuff so I was pretty overwhelmed but this is so fun and I hope you guys are gonna really enjoy this so yeah stick with me and I hope you really enjoy this hey everyone so I officially figured out that it's day seven of editing immortal so I'm finally back on track on that um, today I've had a huge to-do list Saturdays I send out two different newsletters and I still edited for my client I still wrote in the tides of war and now I'm finally getting I actually didn't think I was gonna get to get to editing immortal because of all of that I thought that would take me all night to do that because it takes me hours to just send off the newsletters let alone editing for my client which can take me an hour to, to even more longer sometimes plus my writing can take me an hour and somehow I got it all done and it's 10 10 so I also posted a TikTok short Instagram reel all that stuff so I'm, I'm on top of it so it's 10 10 I've got like oh a little over an hour to work on immortal and tonight's goal was just to get past um, a short period after Egypt called Joppa and then from there we're gonna launch into the Roman Empire so I'm super excited um, there's a lot of notes to go through I'm gonna be listening to the recordings from my editor while I go through this to make sure that I covered Egypt really well and then also gonna do the same for Joppa so I probably won't have much more time to do but that and I feel like that's a good stopping point for today so I'm getting immortal out um, as you can see and I finally got to put that big Egypt book away and so the Egypt part that I edited is now in here and I realized this is not going to work when I get to deeper into Immortal because I don't think all of this can fit in there but you never know we'll see so for now I'm gonna try not to tear this up and we're just gonna get back into it so I will check in with you guys when I have something new to report Hey guys, it's still day seven of Immortal and I came across my first thing. I had to check one detail with my mom just to confirm because my editor didn't say anything about it, but I wanted to make sure that I was spelling Jesus' name in Hebrew correctly, Yeshua, um, and that that's what they would have been called as the followers of Yeshua. So it gives you guys some little hints about, about what's going on here. Um, and then I just now came across the first entry I need to fact check, which is in 76 uh, AD, and I'm making sure that that's that this is the correct date, not 76. Actually, it would have been way back in 68. So 68 AD when Vespasian, a Roman general sacked the city of Joppa, I think. Um, so I'm gonna double check and make sure that that's accurate. I'm gonna get my Roman book out, which I'll show you guys in a minute, fact check that, and then I'm almost done with the Joppa um, port. I'm technically done with the Joppa portion, but this is like finalizing it and leading into Rome. So we're gonna go from there and I will show you guys the book in just a second. This is the book. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way, but this is the book. I have lots of notes in here. Um, I use this not just for Immortal, which I have Immortal the Lo Immortal, Immortal the Lost Journals, and I use it as inspiration for um, any empire that I want to be Roman-like and stuff. Because I mean, they've got a lot of drama, so it's great. So I'm gonna look for um, General Vespasian and go from there. So. Yeah, I'm going to fact check that and finish this up. And then I think I want to add a little bit more. I still have to go through the recordings from my editor. And then I think I want to add more because there's a couple moments in here that are summarized. And I think I can like actually write them out. I don't know why I did that motion, but you know what I mean? Like lengthen them out and not add anything, but simply just not summarize it either. And I think I may do that too. Um, so it's 1037. So I've got just enough time to get this done and I'll check in with you guys later. Okay. So I couldn't find anything in my book about it, but I did find some other sources and one of them said 
vaguely like 68, but a lot of other sources say 67. And so I don't want to be a year off on this one since it's more of a popular event that happened. Um, and so it did confirm that by, I found several sources that did confirm that by June of 68 AD, Nero had been declared, had been killed, and Vespasian's um, campaign ended, and I had it winter of 68, so I went ahead and changed it to 67, since that does fall in the range of what I think it would have happened in, so I fixed the date, I'm finishing this entry, and yeah, that should finish up Joppa. I still haven't gotten to the recordings yet, and it's 10.54, so I'm slowly losing time. Hey everyone, so it is uh, November 12th and it's 10.33 or something like that. Yeah, it's 10.33. So I've had kind of a weird night. Um, I actually got my editing for my client done very quickly. It was like not even 10 minutes after like I started. So I got to writing at like 7.15 p.m. And I wrote, and the scene was weird, it was awkward. My husband and I, because I knew that my husband and I were going on a date at around 8 o'clock, so we went on the date, came back, and then we had talked about the scene, so I fixed it, and I spent so much extra time working to make sure that that scene was no longer awkward and getting it right, and so basically, since we got home around 8.30, 9 o'clock, I've been writing since then for about an hour and a half, um, and that's why it's 10.30 and I haven't gotten edited, gotten started editing Immortal yet, so... I'm getting the document out. I'm starting Rome. It's, I think, a pretty long section, so I'm not expecting to get it done. I just want to get to a decent stopping point and get some work done. So that's, excuse me, that's my goal. I will check in with you guys when I know more, when I have more to report. So, also, it's like day, mm, I'm going to have to look to find out what day it is. Just to clarify, it is day eight of editing Immortal, so that's to help myself out. Hey guys, it's still day eight of editing Immortal. Um, so I edited a few pages, um, I think. Basically like this one, this one, and this one here. Um, so since the Rome arc is like a longer one, I'm not gonna try to get it done in one night. I'm just gonna take my time with it and work through it. I did have to look up one thing, so what was I gonna say? Yeah, I did have to look up one thing. Um, in my gladiator book um which was just double checking because my editor made a note about a term that i used and i think she thought i was wrong but i did find it several times in here um and confirmed the other terms that i used to make sure they were correct um in latin so i confirmed that and that's about it so i um Probably I'm gonna try it like finish up the Rome arc first and then go through the recordings From my editor when I'm done to make sure I cover all my bases and so until then I'm gonna leave um the ones I've edited out so basically my uh, papers that I do edit will only get put in the grain folder that I've showed you guys before. They will only get put in there when like a whole time period is done. I'm not going to do that for like time periods. I'm in the middle of editing. So that just makes it easier for myself. So I think I'm going to, so yeah, that's about it. It's 11 19. So it's time for my dinner. So I will check in with you guys the next time I work on it, but I think I'm going to stop there and not push myself tonight because I do have other things I need to be doing. And I'm still trying to, you know, balance out the surprise project I'm working on, um, proofreading wildfire. I really need to get it done this week and then still editing my YouTube channel, um, for my YouTube channel, not editing the channel itself. So I will check in with you guys next time I work on this and I'm proud of my progress today. Also, if you guys are enjoying this vlog series as I edit Immortal and put all the effort and work into it, um, and you guys are interested in Immortal, right now the Kickstarter for Immortal is actually live, so I'll have a link in the description below. Go check it out. Um, there's not just Immortal, but I've got the Valiant series, five book omnibus, that's five books in one up, out. You've, there's packages and tiers for Immortal. Um, the other parts of the Valiant series, I've got notebooks and coloring books, ex especially an exclusive Immortal 
uh, themed notebook and an immortal themed coloring book. So there's all kinds of packages you can mix and match. There's bookmarks if you guys want that. There's ebooks, so there's cheaper packages if you can't afford the higher tiered paperback ones. So go check out the Kickstarter. It's only going on for I think the next 30 days. By the time you guys are watching this, it'll be less than that. So go check it out. The link will be in the description below so you can get Immortal for yourself. Signed, if you want a signed paperback copy, way earlier because Immortal's not coming out until this fall, um, late September, if not later than that. So go check out the Kickstarter. Um, you're helping me raise the funds that I need in order to provide for the audiobook, um, which is going to be super professional. It's exciting stuff. So go check out the Kickstarter. Thank you guys so much for watching. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more writing and reading videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Liking my videos really helps push the, these videos into the algorithm. That's the way the al algorithm works. So I appreciate every one of you who like these videos and watch them and stick with me. And in the meantime, if you liked this episode in the vlog series, then check out the next one. It'll be up as a premiere unless you're already watching this after it's out. But either way, check it out. You don't want to miss it. This is super, super exciting stuff.